Welcome to the Heart of Africa at the Columbus Zoo. Today, we're going on a safari to discover how different animals of Africa meet their needs and move around. Animals need many things to stay healthy and happy, just like we do. Let's put on our explorer hats and begin our journey. First up, let's visit the king of the savanna, the African lion. Lions may remind you of a pet cat because they can sleep up to 20 hours per day. They live in groups called prides, which can be as big as a class at school with more than 20 lions. In the pride, the female lions go out and hunt. After hunting, the male lions eat first, then the females and cubs eat last. This helps make sure that everyone in the pride can stay strong and healthy. Imagine having to wait your turn to eat dinner. What are some of the things lions need to stay healthy and strong? The African savanna is a big, grassy area with few trees where lots of animals live, such as lions, giraffes, and zebras. At the zoo, our savanna is home to animals that only eat plants, known as herbivores. Let's take a closer look at the gazelles on the savanna. Each gazelle looks unique. Let's see if we can spot the differences. The dama gazelle is white and brown. You can notice them on the savanna by their larger size and curved horns. They live in small herds of 5 to 10. The slender horn gazelle is light brown with long horns. These gazelles can flick their tails to communicate with each other. Lastly, you might see the Thompson's gazelle. These gazelles have a white belly and a black stripe down their side. Thompson's gazelles can run very fast to escape predators, up to 50 miles per hour. Do gazelles remind you of any Ohio animals? Next, look towards our watering hole. Just like in the wild, different animals visit the watering hole every day. Today, we are meeting warthogs. These animals use their strong snouts to dig and find a meal, usually something like grass, roots, berries, and insects. They even walk around on their knees to make digging for food easier. When there might be danger, the warthog's tail will stick straight up like a warning flag so they can alert their friends. If they need to escape from predators, they use their long legs to run fast. How do warthogs use their tails and legs to help them move and stay safe? Now let's peek into the world of vervet monkeys. These sneaky monkeys are very similar to raccoons. They sometimes get into campsites where people might leave out food, just like raccoons do in Ohio. There's even a picnic table in their habitat. When vervet monkeys find food, they stuff it in their cheek pouches to save for later. They're omnivores, so they eat fruits, flowers, and some small animals. I love watching these clever primates. Why do you think it's important to clean up after yourself in outdoor spaces? Finally, look up to the trees and see if you can spot the giraffes, the tallest animals in the savanna. Giraffes have long necks to reach the highest tree branches. Their 18 inch purple tongues are about as long as a loaf of bread. They use their tongue as a tool to help them grab leaves. The purple color on their tongue protects against sunburn, like a natural sunscreen. Here's a good joke for you. Why don't giraffes play hide and seek? Because they're always spotted. What a journey we've had today. 
We've explored how the animals of Africa move, stay safe, and find food in their environment. Many of the animals in Africa face challenges because of conflict between humans and wildlife. When people and animals live in the same areas, it can sometimes be difficult for them to get along. The Columbus Zoo is dedicated to helping these animals and protecting them from challenges. Thanks for joining us on this safari. Next time you visit the heart of Africa, keep an eye out for the amazing wildlife. Who knows what new things you might learn? Until next time, explorers.